Uh, COVID-19, as we know, has caused schools, restaurants, and many businesses to close to the public. Well, that includes the Great Plains Zoo. But staff there are still making sure they're keeping families involved and educate their kids. And tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sarah McDonald shows you how they're doing just that. While you may not be able to take a trip to the Great Plains Zoo right now, the power of social media is giving people a chance to see and learn all about their favorite animals virtually. It's a tool that we're using here to try to try to get that stuff out to the public that's sitting at home right now to to kind of still have their finger on the pulse of the zoo, as it were. Uh, we don't have folks coming through the gates right now, but you can see all this really cool content. You know, it's really, really kind of valuable. Keep that engagement going on. The zoo has always had a social media presence. The coronavirus pandemic just allowed zoo staff to ramp that up. We've been getting really creative. Um, in a couple cases, we're using some existing program structures. So you'll see some virtual bookworms. We do a bookworms reading program every Saturday. That includes a story and an animal visitor. And so we've just taken that format and done it in a video form. But that's not all. We're also doing what we're calling creature features, which is just bringing one of our ambassador animals into the classroom, uh, doing a video with that animal, kind of talking about natural history and about the animal. And Spencer has even come up with wild workouts, a way for kids to get moving and also learn about animal facts. And we are seeing lots of uh, positive feedback, people sharing the videos, people commenting on the videos, uh, and it's, it's been really fun that way. Eschenbrenner credits the zoo staff for coming up with creative ideas to highlight the animals. Reaching out to keepers, we're, we're coming up with ideas, things like that, and uh, they let me know, so I'll meet up with them when they have something cool that's happening. So, I mean, one of the things we filmed recently was a big kind of mass feeding with uh, the Japanese macaques, where a lot of the keepers went over there, and they had uh, bananas and grapes, and all the macaques went crazy, and I think the keepers get just as much out of it as, as the animals do. And even though this is an unprecedented time, staff say keeping the animals happy and healthy is a continued commitment. I want everyone out there to know that, you know, running the zoo, it's a full-time thing. We can't just stop, you know, when the rest of the world comes in. These animals rely on us 100% for, for care, for enrichment, for food, for interaction. All those things kind of start to finish. And we have a very high standard of animal care here. And at the same time, staff members are enjoying keeping you involved. Well, I think everybody here at the zoo is excited to find those new and creative ways to still to still be able to reach people and, and connect people with nature, even though we can't connect with them in person. With Eye on Killaland, I'm Sarah McDonald. Oh, I know parents really appreciate all these different options for their kids. And even though the zoo is close to the public right now, you can still donate online and support them. You'll find a link with that, as well as the social media page under this story on Killaland.com.